Yo, sup? Today I've got a review of Lies of P. Pinocchio meets Dark Souls, yeah, sounds crazy, but this game is an absolute gem. I'm talking about a game that's not just good, but it's become my all-time favorite. So today I'll dive into the enchanting world of Lies of P and why it's stolen the spotlight in my gaming library. Let's do this. Quickly going through the story for no spoilers, there's Geppetto's puppet, Pinocchio wakes up and Sophia asks for help, it's a puppet frenzy going on. There's the hotel, which is the base, and and then there's all the streets of the city where you can explore and whatnot. Line is a feature that makes Pinocchio more human. The characters are very well written and have good interactions with each other, to the point I lied more in order to protect the feelings of the characters. Does it make sense though? since they don't actually exist, but the plot's good at that point. Lying is part of being human. Different people lie for different reasons and that's the main philosophy here. The combat system is kinda different from other Souls-likes. Here, blocking and parrying is the main thing. You can break enemy weapons, there's the regen thing on your life points. Different than Dark Souls where you're supposed to dodge everything. Here, you can still dodge, but perfect blocking is the best option overall. You can merge different weapons and different handles to create unique weapons that fit your style. I still haven't gotten into that as I can never decide between stuff. You can easily roll around and spend quartz to upgrade Pinocchio's organs. There's weapons for any preference as well. I honestly prefer this GUI compared to Dark Souls. It's easier for me to get a handle on everything. Some people hate the gameplay being slow, like Pinocchio isn't that fast walking around. Again, the focus is on perfect blocking, not exactly dodging, but the speed is still not even that bad. He's still faster than Sora in Kingdom Hearts 2. There's a bunch of side quests, like talking to the same NPCs at different times trigger new events. Uh, you get cryptic things which you can follow to get new items, then secret things and side quests. The exploration is pretty good, I usually get overwhelmed when the world is very big. And here it's more linear, but you still got a lot to explore. Stuff I've missed on my first playthrough as well. Also, Pinocchio is a handsome character compared to having hard times creating decent looking characters in Dark Souls. That's not important for gameplay, but it's always good to have a good looking gentleman on the screen. Sophie is also very pretty, so points for that. It's really cool that there's shortcuts you can unlock around the areas of the game, which makes traveling easier once you want to revisit certain areas. As I said, the areas aren't gigantic, but they're big enough so there's the aura of mystery, but still small enough so it doesn't get tedious moving around and reaching new places. The stargazer placements are really good. Back to the designs. The boss designs are really cool. They all look pretty cool. Lies of P is a complete experience, from the story that got me attached to the characters and worry about their well-being, um, it's pretty exciting to learn the boss move patterns and overcome the challenges. Pinocchio's journey through this dark and twisted world has left a lasting impression on me, making Lies of P stand out in my gaming experience and also become a favorite. So whether you're a fan of challenging combat, immersive storytelling or just looking for something new, I highly recommend giving Lies of P a try. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Thanks for tuning in to this review and until until next time, see ya.